Hello and welcome to Toffee Creek Bonsai. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how my trees have been doing over the past few months. The red buds I have been growing are doing very well. They have already dropped some of our leaves and have been making lots of nice wood. Here is a closer look of where the branch meets the tree. Sometime in the future, I might do a trench hop there and have the branch be the new leader. For anybody that is new to Bonsai, the leader is the tallest branch of the tree. My three bald cypress seedlings are doing better than I ever thought they would. All three of them are about a foot and a half tall, and it is still the first year. Bald cypresses are unique among conifers in that they drop their needles in the fall. As you can see, they're all dropping their branches currently, and the one on the left is completely bare. The bald cypresses are also making some wood, but the wood isn't as strong as the wood the red buds are making. The branches pop right off in the wind and are completely dried out at this point. The largest of the three bald cypresses has developed a very nice root flare over the past few weeks. I have changed my mind about planting this tree in the ground because these roots are something very special that you don't usually get with such a young tree. I think the reason this tree has such nice lateral roots has to do with when I repotted it. When I moved it out of its old pot, I cut the tap root, which had been wrapping around the bottom of the pot, back. I think this made the tree refocus its root growth in new and interesting areas. The bald cypresses have been showing signs of stretch marks. I think that is the reason they have the markings on them. Stretch marks happen when an organism grows too fast and its skin has trouble keeping up. I have some stretch marks on my body, but I had no idea that plants do get them too. These are some acorns that are recently collected. They are from the species Queerus polystris, commonly known as the pin oak. Pin oaks have dark green leaves and make beautiful striped acorns. I plan to send some of these acorns to an acquaintance of mine named Nigel Saunders. He lives in Tanda and has a very great YouTube channel that inspired me to make my own. I also plan to grow some of these acorns next spring. I recently collected some redbud seeds from a tree in my front yard. I hope to grow some of these seeds next spring. My plan of them is to find houses around my neighborhood that would like a free tree. If any of these seedlings show exceptional promise, I might keep them as bonsai. My goal is to get some trees in the world and make the neighborhood a nicer place. It would be cool to see all the beautiful flowers in the spring from the redbuds. My jade from the last video was doing amazing. The procedure was a complete success, and the plant is making new leaves and roots. Jades are succulents, so they have to stay inside all year because it's too hot and cold where I live. The bud shows signs of growth, and I really hope it will eventually grow into a branch. The bud is about halfway down the jade, and one of the leaves fell off of it during the past week. I think that's going to be it for this video. Stay safe, and have a nice day.